Yeah, in case you need a reminding, basketball has begun and it doesn't get much better than playing in a nearly packed out Don Haskins Center for the Battle of I-10. For Aggies new head coach Greg Hyde, this is his first rivalry game with UTEP. Meanwhile, for Joe Golding, he's looking to right the wrongs of last season and get his first victory of the Battle of I-10. Who would come out on top in the rivalry in front of the packed crowd at the Don? Calvin Solomon with the overhead pass to Otis Frazier the third, and the crowd loves it, and so does he. He almost falls over with all the excitement. Aggies hit back those Xavier Pinson shapes to shoot from beyond the three, dribbles it in, and he's got the alley-oop to Issa Muhammad, and it's Dunk Central down at the Don, and this game was tight. UTEP, though, going on a run right before the half to end. Zarek Onyema with the two points there. And then some quick ball movement sees Carlos Lemus sink the three-pointer. UTEP went into the half eight points up the most of the entire game at that point. But they'd extend the lead as much as 13 points in the second half. The Aggies getting some consolation threes at the end. But the Miners looked in control the entirety of the second half. ABC7 Sports Director Adrian Choa lapped up all the action in the Don tonight and joins us live from one epic rivalry game. And Adrian, I'm sure the crowd of more than 11,000 was rocking after that UTEP win. Oh yeah, absolutely, uh, Rachel. Fans going home happy as round one of the Battle of I-10 went to the UTEP Miners on this night. And, you know, they say defense wins championships, and that was certainly the case for the Miners as defense, their defense, just stifled the NMSU Aggies all game long. Let's go ahead and take you to the video showing just exactly what the Miners did to get to secure the victory on this night. The Miners forcing the Aggies to turn the ball over 20 times in this game. Now, offensively, Three Miners in double figures today with Tay Hardy, the Southern Miss transfer for the Miners, putting up 14 points leading the way for UTEP. Whereas on the NMSU side, Xavier Pinson, as you showed highlights from him, he led the way for the Aggies with 20 points. Now, this is the first victory for the Miners against the Aggies since 2019 and the first for head coach Joe Golding. Remember, UTEP coach Golding lost, went 0-2 against the Aggies last season, so he picks up his first win. Whereas for NMSU's first-year head coach Greg Heyer, well, he'll still be in search of his first win against UTEP as he starts off 0-1 in the Battle of I-10. Let's hear from those two head coaches right now. You know, New Mexico State's dominated this series, no secret to that. They've had really good players, great coaches, uh, and, and a great fan base. Um, and so we got one, you know. Um, a year ago today, I got gut punched in here in this game. Jabari Rice hit the big shot. So uh, I hadn't gotten over it in a year, uh, but this will help. I'm just disappointed in our effort uh, tonight. Um, I thought they outplayed us um, in all the aspects that... that you know, we talked about going into the game, uh, we had to take care of the ball. The stats are pretty even, but, um, you know, the eye test of watching game, I just thought we got outplayed. So, not quite a sellout here at the Don Haskins Center. A near sellout crowd of 11,315. So, now the teams will go their separate ways, but they'll meet again. Remember, round two is on Wednesday, November 30th, over at the Pan Am Center. But until then, UTEP has another home game on Tuesday against Sul Ross University. That game tips off at 7 p.m., whereas the Aggies, they'll take the court next Saturday in Albuquerque for round one of the Rio Grande rivalry against the New Mexico Lobos. And that game tips off at 5 p.m. in Albuquerque. For now, Rachel, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Thank you, Adrian. Yeah, it doesn't get any easier for the Aggies. They've got another rivalry game to go into. Just crazy stuff. But congrats to the Miners and Joe Goldie on getting his first ever Battle of I-10 rivalry win.